Endangered, the fierce panda story, will take a wry glance at the early dates of bands like Ash, Keen, Placebo, and Idlewild. His Idlewild frontman, Ronnie Wilbur. It just appealed to us in a way that it felt comfortable to do something like that. I felt like people we could talk to about music that we liked, that were enthusing about putting out some, some of our music. And on a very kind of base level, when you're young and you're in a band, that's all you really want. We, especially being sort of cynical and Scottish, we didn't really want anyone telling us, oh, you're going to be the next big thing. You know, we were two kind of indie kids, but, you know, in that way, you know, we had that kind of mentality where we sort of distrusted quite a lot of media types and industry types, even then. Um, and Fierce Panda and Deceptive, they just didn't seem like that at all to us. They seemed like people that were kind of on our wavelength. There'll be brand new interviews with various bands recalling their humble, stumbling early days, including this little group, Coldplay, who's their drummer, Will Champion. We felt very grateful that they had decided that we might be one of those people, that, one of those bands that, that might go on to do something. So for us, it was definitely a kind of a seal of approval. So it was, you felt like it was an actual Fierce Panda turning up and then saying, yeah, we we'll, would we'll, we'll like to put out a record. It was kind of a sort of endorsement of what you were doing. Definitely. And like I said, because they had that history of, uh, you know, there was a few bands that were big at the time and you knew that the first thing they'd ever done was the Fierce Panda thing. So that was definitely something to, to be very, very proud of. Part of a very exclusive club. Absolutely. But this is no nostalgia fest. The Panda is as hungry as ever, with a menu of over 80 albums. Fierce Panda founder, Simon Williams. Another reason for making the film and for asking people to invest in it is to find out who cares who's left out there in a world of blogs, in a world of downloads, in a world of hyperspeed culture. I want to find out if there's anyone out there who still cares about labels like Fierce Panda, really. My whole ethos is we're a bit like Santa Claus, a bit like the Tooth Fairy, a little bit like Eskimos. You know, if the kids don't believe in Fierce Panda, how can we exist? So a film which focuses on the highs and lows of a life running an independent record label. We'll be focusing on the bands on stage and the infamous pubs and clubs of London where they hung out and the chaos which drove Fierce Panda to the very edge of reality and back again. Now that sounds like a film worth investing in, wouldn't you say? <laughs>